Hey y'all, it's Lulu I Love with House of Oshun and today I'm going to do your second half of July general reading. This is for Sun, Moon, and Rising Leo. <laughs> I had to look. What up? <clears throat> Any information you need will be in the description box. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. I really appreciate all the love and support. Y'all just don't know. What up? Ooh, excuse me. I'm trying to get these out the way before I get this huge download that's coming. Because after that, it's number meditative readings until I get all the information I need. What else? <clears throat> what doesn't apply? Let it fly. Let's rock. Angels, what information do you have for Leo? For now, until the end of July. Communication is key. It feels like um, you have been able to dissolve a situation because you were able to use your communicative abilities to do so. Okay. And there's something positive on the horizon for you since you were able to uh, come to some type of resolve in your life. Or between you and some other person here. They're saying here that if you've been having any doubts about being able to um, get into the field of communicating communications... Don't allow your insecurities to hold you back. You have what it takes to move forward. You have um, what it, you are very knowledgeable, whether it's sage wisdom or um, a book, textbook shit, whatever. Yeah, because um, once you are really secure in who you are, standing your truth, standing your power, I'm seeing here where you will really be um, flying high. Okay, it feels like you will take a leap of faith and really be flying high in where you are, where you want to go, standing in your power, exuding nothing but that line energy. <laughs> what else? Some people may be jealous or try to come down on you. You may have a, a huge bout of fortune here. Yeah, and um, you're going to come to a space where you really want to balance out what it is that you can sacrifice balance out what is reality what is something that you are literally making up or whatever um <clears throat> once things really things begin to expand this new prosperity is coming in this new way of looking at things this new way of doing things you're gonna have to make some sacrifices so you really will be in a very enlightened stage um a huge like a meditative state where you're um, needing to pull in that feminine wisdom to move forward, yeah. Because it looks like you're going to have to release some things in order for some new things to begin. Oh, Lord. Real quick. There may be something um, on the news coming up real soon. Someone may be um, hung from a tree. There may be like a, a number of hangings. That's it. I don't have time for this. They better be glad that I am not as powerful as I would like to be. I haven't mastered that shit yet. But I do see where some things are going to end in order for some new things to begin for you. You're going to move into um, a very fertile period where you will have everything that you need to move forward so that you can take embark on this new journey in your life. Some of you may be getting pregnant or, um, oh, okay. Um, spiritual babies, whatever that means to you. Capricorn, fire sign, a lot of Capricorn. Things are coming full circle. You may be dealing with someone who lives at a distance from you. I do get here that there is another fire sign that is really, really coming at you. You may, um, <clears throat> this person may want you to send them nude photos or you have sent them nude photos or they just want to see you naked. Okay. Um, <clears throat> some of you are juggling between another fire sign or a Scorpio and a Capricorn. Someone that there may be um, that you can't get away from. You feel as though you can't get away from this person. There's a huge draw to this person or this thing. Whatever it is, you have to decide between um, a person, place, or a thing and another person. What else? There's new romance here coming in for you. Capricorn again. Capricorn or some air sign. It feels like there's someone um, in your energy that wants to manifest something new from you, create something new with you. They're going to reveal how they feel toward you and how they want to move forward with you. This person may be very um, intelligent. They could possibly be a, uh, a professor. 
Um, they may just be philosophical, if that makes sense to you. Oh, my nose is itching. Somebody want to see me? <laughs> Turn my phone off. All right, so you may have a lot of history with this person and realize, you know, this is what you want. Some of you will really move forward with this, leaving the past behind and moving on to this newness. Wanting things to work out in a fair and just manner. Some of you may be getting a divorce or, um, yeah, maybe getting a divorce. Manifesting what it is you want in your life. This new life cycle that you are going through with this person. There's a positive change coming from this. You're going to be feeling good in all areas of your life. Getting what you want. Try not to be greedy. Greed only leads to anxiety and feelings of lack, which brings in more lack. I'm seeing here where... Some of you may not even take the offer that is coming to you because you don't like the words that this person is saying. You don't like their approach. So you may move past them. So that's the two ways to look at that, the two ways that I'm picking up. I'm seeing here that um, it is very important for you to um, exercise, whatever you consider exercise and dancing is exercise for me. <laughs> whatever. Um, but um, it's important for you to do some exercising because there's a new venture coming up that's going to bring out some very positive expect your expectations are going to be more than what you thought that it, they could be overall the angels are leading you to the answers to your prayers you're being guided and you're following your nudges here yeah there's a conception of new ideas I'm seeing here there may be some emailing or some back and forth with someone or about something. This is going to bring you a lot of admirers. Try not to be egoic, Leo. But um, overall, I'm seeing here with you and a fire sign, someone is really, someone really admires the hell out of you. Okay? They really like you, Leo. Out of all the people that they could possibly be with, they want to be with you. I'm seeing here that uh, they put it out there, what it is that they want. You may have, you may be waiting you may have put something out there that you want and may be waiting for a response. There's a lot of fantasizing going on of how things, how you feel like things will transpire in your life. There's a lot of huge ideas, but it's going to be on you which way you go with this. Because even though you have all of these ideas, you have to pick one at a time, you know. Depending on you and your power, I do see where there's a huge period of transformation coming for you. You're on your way to really building the foundation. Um, the foundation. Some of you have a 501c that you are working on. You're close to completing that. Some of you are trying to build something with someone. May it be uh, some type of creative endeavor. But it's coming along lovely. You'll be fine. Some of you are so good at manifesting and changing the weather. <laughs> You've been putting in a lot in this, something with the weather. Or hoping that the weather changes. But there's a lot of power. Um, some of you have a lot of um, power. Split the clouds. That may make sense to some of you. Something about splitting the clouds. But there's a new way of looking at things, a new way of going about things as well. I'm so sorry. My nose just start itching out of nowhere. Whatever. And just give me more information about this. Yeah, a lot of envy and jealousy, Leo. Y'all know how to handle it, though. Whatever. Even when people ain't jealous and envious, y'all be like, I know they jealous. <laughs> That's for some of y'all. Whatever. Angels, what information do you have for my lovely Leos, please? Thank you. Ow. There may be, um, some of you may be working on your marriage or working on the um, a relationship overall. I'm also seeing where you want some things to move forward rather quickly, but you have to follow certain procedures. Yeah. Taurus, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There's going to come a time um, when it comes to your marriage or your, the situation with you and some other person where... Uh, they may live at a distance from you, but you're very comfortable with this person. You may dote on them or they dote on you. You have a choice between a Sagitt uh, could be a Sagittarius, another fire sign, or um, between a fire sign and an earth sign. 
Capricorn and Taurus real strong. It feels like you will be weighing the um, your options here. Some of you may be weighing between um, your jumping out there in the water. <clears throat> Not sure if you can swim, especially when it comes to some uh, passionate and uh, some some endeavors that have to do with uh, some creative endeavors. Do you stay with your job or do you um, venture out on your own? Oh my God! <clears throat> some of you have really come to the space of um naming your poison and having confidence and clarity on which way you want to go with what um, when i say poison it's about um your take on things how you want to move forward if that makes sense some of you are waiting for a fire sign to come in you want to build something with this person this could possibly be someone that is um you want to have a child with or you want to grow your business with if that makes sense May even work with them. I'm also seeing here that um, some of you will be having a high priest or a high priestess come and clear your ha your home. <sighs> Shit, I'm gonna go. You may be having someone coming to clear your home because you feel like you're being watched in your home. I'm gonna go. And it can become uncomfortable when you feel that there's something there and, you know, you're thinking like, oh, my God, when I do something inappropriate, are they watching me? They use the jet out unless they freak your spirits or something. I don't know. I don't know. A lot of you are being very empowered with your knowledge of self overall. You're very protective of your family or someone is very protective here. <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of praying. Some of you may be going to a funeral and not like the arrangements that were made. Like, they wouldn't have wanted it like this. You know, and there may be some confusion there, but you're going to go within to get a better understanding of why these people who were placed over this funeral, why they did things the way that they did. Some of you will be uh, visiting Egypt as well. Egypt and, um, I don't know, Catholic Diocese. I don't know what they got to do with anything. Bye. I'm going to go. All right, Leo. I love y'all. Bye.